Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. That's right, we're jumping for joy here because we're almost done with this game. Almost. I said almost, Crash, you still have lots more to do. Uh, but basically what we did in the last part is we finished three of the levels here of uh, the fifth floor, the final floor, but now let's go back into uh, this level over that here that completely forgot to get all the boxes. So I'm going to show you which box I missed that I so dearly missed. Which is just so obvious. Anybody could figure that out by distance if you saw the last part. But oh well, we're just going to do this again and uh, let's just go for it, I guess, because <laughs> I got nothing better to do. Um, so that box. There's these three boxes. I only missed the one on the left side, I believe. So yeah, going to get that box right now. And I'm going to transition to the end. All right, so let's get all that stuff off because I got all the boxes, basically. And shading, we got our box gem. Hooray. I never have ever, 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 ever need to come back to this level. Sweet. Like, my main goal for this floor, the fifth floor, is to get everything 100% done. Like, there's no there's no guarantee or any chance that I'm going to be going back into these levels and get all the stuff because that's... I mean, pissing it away is a tough level to get everything done, and I'm so glad I got that. But now, it's time for the last level, Spaced Out. Oh boy, Spaced Out. I wonder what kind of level this could possibly be. Boy, oh boy, I cannot wait. I bet you Aku Aku is just like so spaced out. <laughs> but <clears throat> in this level, we have a, yet again another one of these factory levels, uh, which I'm so much of a fan of. Not really, but this level is actually kind of, sort of, kind of hard in that matter. Um, so we're just going to wait for the little robot dude to finish up his attack and we're going to go through the gem path. Now this gem path is definitely, definitely one of the trickiest gem paths ever. Um, you need actually, in order to do this, you need to get all the special gems that we collected. So without those colorful gems or so, your chances are you're not really going to get uh, the box, or not the box gem, the secret gem. Hooray, I fell. I love falling. Isn't it the greatest? You know, falling is just like the greatest season, but still, I get burned to a crisp. That's just kind of... I'm burned out, okay? So, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... I didn't even realize that you can get burned by these sides of the platform, so... That's good to know, I guess. Um, for those of you who are playing this game, but you know, let's just ignore all the facts and just get right back into the gem path, really, because I didn't even mean to get myself burned there. That was a mistake on my part, but whatever. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, this is definitely one of the hardest gem paths ever. Uh, there's going to be a lot of these obstacles that are going to be like a jerk face, because like this one, for instance, you have to wait for him to open up and then sort of jump as the gate thing is open so yeah that's kind of tricky see like that um there's actually a tr <laughs> this part right here is actually the jerk right here um this little setup right here is just a big pain in the ass because look i am now small and i'm now being an angel as i'm being tiny ow my entire everything so yeah, we are <laughs> finally back after about a million deaths of this Oh my god, I can't believe how much lives I lost. Ah! This is going to be one hell of an episode, I must say. I must say. Uh, thankfully, all those stuff is going to be cut out because I don't really feel like showing all those deaths there. So that's a good thing. I hopefully get this done. I just want to be done with this game. Okay, can I please try this? Whoa, that was close. That was also close. This whole second part of it is just a jerk. Because uh, of those stupid um, arrows and the whole beams and the making me small. Yeah, I'm not really liking that at all. <laughs> uh, so we finally reached the second or the third uh, path. 
Yay, some more crash faces that I totally need because I lost a lot of lives. <laughs> it was just not the greatest. Definitely. It's not great! Um, so yeah, we are at the red gem. Lucky me. Uh, so we got these dudes that are pushing those things. I really don't like them at all, so I'm going to kill them with my spin attack of doom. And awesomeness. Yeah, those things are actually kind of a douche to me. And look at that, we're finally at the end! Hooray! So we finally got the secret gem done. That's it! All we have left to worry about, I'm gonna go back and kill myself just because I don't want to uh, exit out of the stage. I want to finish this stage with pride and dignity. And let's not burn. So the only thing left from now is the crystal, the final crystal I should say, and of course the box gem for this floor. And that about completes the rest of the fifth floor, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Let's, let's go Crash, we got this. We got this. See, we don't need to worry about the stupid gem path anymore. We got this! I can't wait to finish this game! It feels like it's been so quick, yet so much... There's just so much that I enjoyed this game. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, I got squished. <laughs> Definitely not a good thing. I want to kill you, Mr. Robot Dude. So, checkpoint at last. Yay! Hooray! Nitro boxes, get out of my face. I want to jump over you like so. You slide right into you. Oh boy. I definitely do not like those enemies at all. Those things that open up and close and stuff like that. Hooray! I killed you with nitro boxes. Isn't that lovely? I love murder. I, I love getting away with murder. Like, that's a thing, really. Alright, another checkpoint is ours. And I'm going to slide into you, Mr. A. I don't even know what that thing is. But you can't spin into it. That sucks. Otherwise, you get, like, burned and such. There's, like, they have, like, those things that burns you. It's just, it burns me up. Seriously. Uh, we got a bonus stage. Hooray. This is probably the last bonus stage you'll ever see in this game. So, you know, enjoy it while it lasts. As I'm going to definitely kill myself. Hooray. Killing myself is quite possibly the best thing in my entire life. It is. I mean... If you had a thing that if actually I heard if there was such a game called like killing yourself in five minutes It's like a flash game. I think and uh, it, it looked kind of stupid at first, but I actually played it a little bit and uh, it, it was kind of funny to you know see that as a game really uh, I think that was like an a, like an adult swim game or something like that, but oh well it's, I think it's called like five minutes. There's like other like names for it now. There's like ten, kill yourself in ten minutes or something like that. It's just so stupid. It's so stupid. I don't even want to bother. <laughs> I really don't really play that much flash games to be honest. So there you go. All right, bouncy, 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 and we're done. Freaking, freaking done. The last bonus game ever. It's just so sad, really. We're going to have to miss this. I mean, well, technically, we still got the other box gems that I haven't really collected, so there's a good chance I'll be coming back to some of those bonuses in order to get all the boxes. We're going for all the boxes, my god. <laughs> so, only a few more parts done. If I remember, this is, like, not even that bad. Alright, checkpoint is mine. Because I remember, I now remember that this part is a bitch. Oh man, this is such a bitch. What? What? I. Okay, I, I understand that I was possibly. Whoa, whoa, that was too close. That was way too close there. I, I, I don't like those beams. They make me small and it's just not the greatest. So I'm going to jump over you instead and get this crystal. Blow up the green boxes of doom. That should possibly do it. If I'm not mistaken, we're getting pretty close here. We are getting pretty close. How, how, what do you say to that, sir? That just I just killed you. <laughs> For some apparent reason, I find that humorous and funny. Uh, but at the same time, we are finally done! Oh my god, Box Gem is mine! Oh, that makes me feel so great! I'll, I'll take a great to that. Oh, baby. But, nonetheless, we are done. Crystal is mine. The secret gem is mine. And of course, the box gem. 
Yes, we are finally finished with level five. I cannot believe it, or, or the fourth, the fifth floor, I should say. Oh no, cutscene! Bah! <laughs> yes, my plan is nearly complete, and I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for. Engine? What's happening? What's that? Is he stealing our signal? Crash! Cortex isn't going to use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's going to harness the force and use it to power the super cortex vortex he has built on his space station. One blast of the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Cortex's mindless slaves. Crash! Don't let him have those crystals! Engine, you fool! She's telling him everything! Ah, yes. We're, uh, we're, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash, bring me... Oh, you kind of cut out there. Uh, bring me your what? I don't even want to guess what the next word is, but... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take on the final boss, shall we? Because he's kind of a douche... He's just kind of a big head douchebag. So... <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and take on none other than the final boss. Going up. And here it is, none other than uh, Dr. Neo Cortex himself. Now, I should say, this final boss, I really just. I thought myself for a long, this, the longest time. But your basic goal here is to. Like basically crash into or spin into Cortex's jetpack. That's you have to do this about three times, I believe. See, like I finally hit him. He's all like spinning out. But I find this boss kind of I don't know. It's just something about final bosses are just like super super weird. I mean, maybe because Crash Bandicoot games aren't that like dynamic or you know all that stuff. But he's almost dead. Um, your basic goal is to get him on the first try because once he gets to the uh, very end, you actually have to beat him in a certain like time. Yeah, see, I finally killed him before he can ever reach that little blue portal or whatever. But he's dead. I don't think so. I don't think we'll ever see the last of um, that doctor or whatever. But we're done. It's over. Suppose happened to Cortex, and what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. I don't know what you're talking about. He's dead. I I I, I clearly defeated him. What part of that don't you understand, Coco? Instead of looking at your laptop, I I highly, well, just ignore the ship. Everyone, just ignore the ship, okay? The ship is unimportant, but the credits are. So. Yeah, that's basically Crash Bandicoot 2, in a nutshell. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have but one more part to upload, and that would possibly be the the true ending, I should say, the 100% ending, and that's by getting uh, the rest of the stuff that I missed from beforehand. Um, and that's pretty much it. I guess there's, I don't think there's anything else I can possibly uh, show off in this game. There's like not that many secrets or anything. Like that's at least that's what I've known. I've only played this game for about uh, I would say this would probably be my third playthrough of this game. My first ever playthrough was like when I was little and I didn't even know anything about the PlayStation. I was pretty much an N, like an N64 player, and this was kind of the, the start of the age where I got a little bit crazy and experimented with all of these older games. So. I definitely love the Crash Bandicoot series, to be honest, and if I had the possible chance, I would, like, do the whole series, but I still haven't really quite finished the first one, to be honest. Um, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex was another one I played, and I honestly loved it. I, I don't know if I might do a Let's Play of that in the future, but you can possibly, you know, have high hopes for that. Um, so, yes, we are still enjoying the credits, as usual. Universal Studios is by far the greatest in any aspects. Naughty Dog is probably one of my top favorite gaming companies, definitely. Um, I so enjoyed the Uncharted series, 
quite a bit. But yeah, it looks like we're finally done with the credits. And um, expect those to happen again soon once I finish the 100%, obviously. So, yeah. That's about it. Oh, we're not quite done yet. <clears throat> so after all that stuff, I thankfully am glad that I did get everything done in the fifth floor because it would just be a pain and nuisance to go back because some of these levels are actually super, super difficult. But I only missed like a couple of uh, box gems, I believe. I, I can't believe I missed Unbearable. That was weird, I must say. So we are going to, I guess, start from the bottom floor and no I didn't want to go up crash crash you're not listening you're not listening buddy so um, I guess next time uh, in the true ending I should say we are going to possibly finish up getting all these gems uh, just kind of work my way up and uh, show you the true ending so I will see you guys next time thanks for watching uh, if you guys liked it thumbs up comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!